this moment couldn't be possible without all you. You guys have always kept us humble. The families of the individuals who are infected by incarceration, what we call death by incarceration, are here being represented and the voices of all those individuals are being heard because you guys out here are advocating to make sure that happens. As I said, Micah was a lifer and he's one of the only lifers that I'm aware of that's here today. And that's Micah. Micah committed suicide while on suicide watch at Greaterford in March of this year. He was on the lifers committee with myself and he lost hope because there is no hope right now for lifers in the state of Pennsylvania. How are we gonna bring our people home alive? for redemption needs to be there. It's as simple as that. Other states have it. Pennsylvania is just way beyond the times. It's as simple as that. The recidivism rate is less than 1% for lifers nationwide. And it's, it's time to give them a chance. And it's time to bring them home. But not like this. Thanks. You see, somewhere between my hurt and grief, I traveled back in time approximately four years before. And it struck me. How could I ask for forgiveness, what my el for forgiveness for what my eldest brother may have done if I was unwilling to give forgiveness to the person who murdered my younger brother? I don't come from a place of not understanding. And when I came up with this proposal to do something that has never been done in this house, is to abolish life without parole. <laughs> from both sides of the aisle thought I'd have lost my mind. I always tell folks this bill does not guarantee that everyone's coming home. This bill essentially says we want the parole board to do their job. Yes. We want to give individuals opportunity to show that they have redeemed themselves in society. Yes. It can never happen if we never give them the opportunity. There's a lot of good folks who've made a lot of mistakes. We are all sinners. There's no one standing amongst us who haven't sinned. When do we forgive? When do we give people an opportunity to right their wrongs? My brother Terrell Carter has spent 25 years of his life incarcerated. Set our people free! Set our people free! Set our people free! This is not the end but the beginning. We have to continue to push people forward. We have to continue to push our politicians forward. We have to continue to vote because otherwise if we don't vote, they don't listen.